Hey, how's it going? I'm Tim Holtz, Creative Director for Ranger Industries, and I'm here with Patty Behand, our Marketing Coordinator. How's it going, Patty? Good. How about you? Good. So you've got something cool to show us? Yeah, we just got back from CHA, mm -hmm. and Claudine was working with her new Creative Layer stamps. Oh, these stamps. I love these stamps. And I saw she was doing great things with paint with them, Yeah. but I love ink, so oh. I want to show you what I do with them with ink. Cool. Well, you know I love ink, too, so that's really good. All right. Well. Um, before we get started, why don't you kind of take us through and show us what these are all about. Okay, I'd love to. Okay, to start off we have her clear stamps and these are basically her fun doodles with line images that you can stamp them and then color them in or leave them as is. And then next we have the foam stamps and you may be familiar with foam stamps already but these are her Claudine's fun designs and so you can use these with ink and paints also. And then, as you can see, the last step is you can put them together, and um, it gives you that vintage 30s look of an off-register image. You stamp the foam stamp, then you put the line stamp on top of it. All right, so take us through and kind of show us how you're going to use these with ink. i got to see this. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the foam stamp, and then I'm going to use the Adirondack dye ink. All right, so on the ink choice, can you use any kind of ink, dye or pigment? Yes, any kind of ink works great. And you'd be surprised that usually dye inks don't work that well on foam stamps, but... Yeah, that's what I think is so cool that, I mean, just even watching you, that foam is taking the ink really well. Yeah, so all you do all right. is give it some pressure. All right. And these are very... I can see that foam dense. is, like, really dense, so it doesn't... Yeah. I mean, it's kind of cool. Let's see, oh, isn't wow. that great? That's like sponge painting kind of. I like the yeah. splotchy look. So is this just regular paper that we're working on? or? Yes, this is um, Ranger's gloss paper actually. It's the smooth side. Oh, the back of it. So one side of the paper is glossy, the other side yeah. matte? Yeah, see. Oh, nice. Like that. Alright, cool. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take Black Archival on the clear stamps. Alright, so the foam stamps and clear stamps, they're sold separately, of course. So uh, like you said, we can use them either way. So on this clear one, you can use any kind of ink, any color. Yep, it doesn't have to be black, but I like the contrast that you get. And then just right. You and know, I like that it it's a clear stamp, so you can kind of see, see through where it. you're going. And it is supposed to be off register yeah, a little I bit. Yeah, kind of see. You just kind of went for it when you stamped it, and I think that's it. what gives it like a really cool. That is awesome. Cool effect. Thanks. Very fun. Stuff.